Okay, stop the right there. This is going to be fun. I thought, you know, for my next video, I'm going to do something a little bit uh, kind of off the hook. Hi, my name's JD, uh, Metal AF here on YouTube. This is going to be fun for all detectorists. Uh, you might want to now go grab a pencil and a pen. I don't know. Maybe you do. I'm going to ask 12. No, I'm going to ask 10 questions of all my fellow detectorists. It basically comes down to, you know, is it a hobby or are you basically uh, obsessed like me with metal detecting? So uh, let's go ahead and um, start with that first question. Have you got your pen and paper? I'll sit here and wait for a second while you find your pen and paper. No, it's in that junk drawer. The second one over in the kitchen. Second one. Yeah, you, no, you don't need an eraser. All the questions are going to be a simple yes or no. Okay, without any further ado, let's get into the first question here. Do you ever look at a house and try to guess roughly uh, what year it was built? You know, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, hey, that might be a good place to detect. Yes or no? Ha <laughs> ha. I believe it's yes, for most of us anyway. Okay, question number two. If you're at a beach and you're detecting, while detecting at the beach, do you leave your detector on, and I mean detect all the way back to your car, thinking, wow, I might have, there might be one more target. I might have missed one. So you detect all the way to your house. <laughs> I think there's some, quite a few yes answers right there. Okay, moving on to question number three. <clears throat> Do you already know the location of the oldest park or school in the, your city or town? I definitely know mine. I'm thinking you people probably know uh, the oldest park in your town too and the oldest school. And you've been there, haven't you? We all have. Question number four. Did you watch 20 or more YouTube videos about the latest detector that you have? I mean, before it arrived? Did you watch 20 videos? I know I did. I, I'm not going to kid. I probably watched 50 in that five-day waiting for my next detector. But did you? I think you have. Question number five. And this is interesting because I, I find myself doing this. Do you ever look at like most of the change? You go into a store and they hand it back to you and you and you look at the change. Maybe later that night, maybe immediately. You know, just in case that clerk may have slipped you or handed you an old silver coin or maybe an older penny. Yeah, I look at my change. I bet you have to. Question number six. Is your YouTube subscription list made up of at least 70% of other detecting channels that you follow? Come on, admit it. 99% uh, of my subscription list is all you out there, my fellow uh, detectorists. Love your channels. Question number seven. <laughs> and this is funny. Have you detected your own yard? And I mean more than once. Yeah, I have to. Question number eight. Do you know exactly how many rings you have dug up this year? You know, I'm pretty sure I have nine so far this year. I know a lot of you have a lot more, but I'm wondering, do you know exactly how many you've dug up? I'm going to guess a lot of people answer yes. Question number nine, and this is a good one too. Do you have that thought? in the back of your mind, if money was no object, I would definitely buy and own, you know, add your favorite, you know, CTX 3030, your high-end machine that you'd like to own. Now, um, I know exactly what machine I'd like to have, but I'm not going to say that. But in the back of my mind, I know exactly what that machine is. Question number 10. Do you ever watch a YouTube video? Where you see a fellow detectorist and he finds like a nice coin, maybe a relic or something, and you say, damn, 
nice vine. I mean, you actually say that to yourself, or do you say, well, damn, I wish I could find just one of those, you lucky son of a gun, you. Anyway, that is the 10 questions. Let's see if you're just a hobbyist or a little bit more obsessed like me. In conclusion, I came to, if you've answered yes to more than seven of these questions, you're probably, like me, a compulsive, obsessive metal detectorist. You know, a bit beyond your average hobbyist. If you answered all ten questions with a yes, well, I bet you have a great collection of finds. I can't wait to see yours. Hey, man, I hope everybody uh, likes my channel. If you would, go ahead and please subscribe. Uh